Hi, I'm Kip from KipHakes.tv and today I'm talking about sunglasses. Yes, you heard right. Basically, my lovely new Sony camera is wonderful, but it doesn't like my sunglasses. And you're probably thinking, what? Basically, the screen on the Sony is polarized and so are my sunglasses. So when you get two polarized things together, when I'm using the camera and self-filming, the handy screen that's on the side is completely black when I'm wearing my sunglasses. So I thought, why not treat yourself, Kip? So I've got some new glasses recently, and uh, they are Ray-Ban ones. And I thought, let's just get some nice Ray-Ban sunglasses to go with them. So I have gone for the Ray-Ban Wayfarer in the new style, and they've got 52mm lenses. That's the dimension of the lens across there. And so they're a sort of similar style to this, but sunglasses, because they're Ray-Ban, you can find a lot of fakes of these. So what I thought I'd do is I would just show you my new sunglasses, because you know, I like sharing stuff with you guys. And I thought I'd give you a few uh, little top tips to uh, make sure you don't buy a fake pair, because these are not fake. So I've set up the overhead camera, and I thought I'd do a bit of an unboxing, and... Uh, take you guys through how you can spot fake Wayfarer sunglasses and just things to look out for. So uh, yeah, let's get them out of the box and have a little look and have a chat as we go. Right, so first off, they're in this nice box. Been a bit squashed by the postman. But yeah, it's uh, it's got a sticker on the end there with all the details of the sunglasses on there. So, uh, you know, these are the kind of things to look out for. Now, Ray-Bans are made in Italy. If you see any that say made in China. So let's get it out of the box to the side there. So there we go, that is the case. And uh, it's got the Ray-Ban logo printed on it. It's not It's not a hard case, it's sort of a semi-hard case. But yeah, you can, uh, you can see the printing on here is good quality. And it's got the uh, sunglasses by Lux, Lu, 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 Lucotica, Lucotica? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Anyway, let's get them out and uh, have a little look. <laughs> right, so uh, these are all wrapped up. Is it leather? It smells leathery. If they were fake, that probably wouldn't be real leather. So we've got the cleaning cloth in there and uh, the little uh, booklet to go with it. We'll have a look at that in a moment. So let's get the glasses out. Ooh. Is there anything else in the case? No. There is a sort of nose guard thing, so inside the case. Again, the fakes don't have that, or might not have that. Got a little uh, ridge for the, the glasses to sit in comfortably, so they don't rattle around the case. And look, there we go. So these are the Ray-Bans. So they look, they look the part, they feel the part. So also, let's get uh, this bit of plastic off. There we go. So you've got the new Wayfarer and uh, some of the information on the side there about the lenses. And then on this side, and then on this side, you've got the Ray-Ban logo and then made in Italy. And um, it's also worth paying attention to the hinges. These are the correct hinges. If they look anything different than that, then they are wrong. So the old style Wayfarers do have different hinges. They've got uh, six or seven prongs on them and uh, they look different to this. So if you've got an old style of Wayfarer, then the hinges will look different to this. But this is definitely the correct hinge for the new Wayfarer. Now you've got the raised printing on the side, on the arms. Now uh, that is should be raised. Um, it should be a good quality. You know, you can look at that and see that it's not been tipexed on by a man in a factory in China. It is properly uh, on there and looks good quality. Um, and also it's got the logo painted in the corner there, so that's good. And then it's got the sticker on telling us that it's got a G15 lens, so it's a slightly green tinted lens, but once it's on it's so dark you don't really see the green, it's not everything green. Now something that is really hard to see, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but right there, etched onto the lens on the left hand side is the little... Uh, Ray-Ban logo. It's uh, it's the R and B from the Ray from the Ray-Ban logo. It's really hard to see. It's a little bit easier to see when you flip it over, 
but that is etched into the lens. Now the fakes sometimes have it painted on. You know you've got a fake if it's painted on, but yeah, it's it's just etched ever so slightly in there. It's a nice sort of uh, soft feel plastic. I think it's an acetate plastic. They just feel very well crafted. And uh, let me just pop the sticker off. Try. So let's try them for size. I like those. So they're not too dissimilar to the kind of style of my glasses, but um, they're, they're sort of just really nice wayfarers and they just feel so, so good on my face. So I'm by no means an expert on Ray-Bans at all. You know, um, I knowledge is very limited, but basically if a deal for some glasses feels a bit too good to be true, then it probably is. Um, you know, you can get official Ray-Bans from the Ray-Ban website or well, Amazon do sell them as well at quite a reduced cost to the Ray-Ban website. Just be wary though, you can buy them directly from Amazon or you can get them from third party sellers. If you want to get them from the third party sellers you can and they're usually quite quite discounted but you've got to look at the reviews of the sellers because there are some third party sellers on there who do sell fakes. But these are a genuine pair of the new Wayfarers and I really like them. I'm looking forward to wearing them. Oh, actually, something that you might not know is if you see a Ray-Ban with a P on the front, that tells you that they've got polarized lenses, which is something I didn't want. But if you do want polarized lenses, then look for the P. <laughs> and yeah, that would be there. And I think actually on here as well, when they're polarized, there's a P on this bit as well, from memory. But yeah, so that's just basically it. So things to look out for, just to recap you, is make sure there's the uh, print on the right hand lens here and just make sure it's a good quality print then you've got the sides just fill them there it is slightly raised and uh, you know just check the edges of the the uh, the silver on there if it's a bit wonky looking then it'll be a fake and then most importantly on the left hand lens there just look out for the RB uh, make sure it's etched into the lens and not just stickered on or even painted on so that's what some of the fakes are and yeah just check the hinges they've got metal hinges they've got good quality metal hinges and that is what they should look like it's uh, pretty clear but yeah the old style wayfarer does have very different hinges they are still metal but they've got like six or seven arms on them oh actually we haven't looked at the uh, the cloth so the cleaning cloth is in this bag and so that will keep the glasses nice and clean. So what do we got? So we've got the cleaning cloth there. Pretty standard stuff. There we go. It's just like an information sheet on the sunglasses. Pretty straightforward. I think I folded that up wrong. I can't say the name. I'm rubbish at names. But yeah, this is uh, just... What is this? Ah, oh, the manufacturer's information note and also it tells you how to use your sunglasses i mean if you can't work out how to use sunglasses you probably shouldn't be allowed out of the house <laughs> but anyway there we go so that is my new shiny pair of ray-ban sunglasses these are the new wayfarers with the 52 mil lenses and uh, i'm looking forward to wearing these so before I go, I just want to say, please, please, please go sign up for my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Kip Hakes. From just three pounds a month, you can help support this channel and make it grow. And you get a few little perks in return. And uh, yeah, that would be great if you could do that. No pressure if you can't. You know, I know times are tight at the moment. So all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to um, like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya!